Hi, this is Josephine. I'm using Illustrator and I want to save for web and devices and make sure that I constrain proportions so that when I upload my image the, um, to the classroom, it, I don't get a surprise and find that the, uh, the circles are now ellipses. So let's go for save and web, save for web and devices. Okay, that opens up my window here. And notice that I have the preset is at JPEG high. So JPEG high is what we want. We want it to be progressive, so that's good. Okay, image size. Now notice um, this box is unchecked because in a previous uh, setting I wanted to change the width and the height and maybe distort the image a little bit. And so I was having some fun playing with that and forgot to recheck this constrained proportions box. So if I don't recheck that constrained proportions box, say I change this, say I want to change this to 600 and I hit apply look what happens, it distorts my image. Now I do not want to do that, so I'm going to cancel out of that one. Safest way to go, I want to go again, save for web and devices, back to my original, and again, I've got all the presets are there, image size, and I want to make sure I constrain proportions in case for any reason I want to change this. Now notice if I change the height, the width is also going to um, expand. Now, for this particular exercise, I don't need to change the size, so I'm going to go back to my original of 800, and I'm going to have to make sure that the constrained proportions is locked, and this toggle. If you're working in, in Photoshop, you can click this toggle and it'll unlock. In Illustrator, it's set up differently. We must check this constrained proportions box, so it retains the original image proportions, which is very important. And if I want to click to artboard or something, I can do that, but I've already done that, so I don't need to. I can just click. Now, why is it not allowing me to? Maybe I have to click it. Ah, must click to artboard. All right, apply. And now it's done. So now I, have, I can hit save. And it brings up this window, and I can save it to the image file. I can title it, change it. I can put my last name first, as we do in the classroom. Initials good enough, color wheels, if I want, then I'm done. Okay, I've got my initial there, I can get rid of that, I can change it, and I can save it to wherever I want to save it to. I'm going to hit save, and voila, I'm done. And there it is, I've opened it up in the um, preview, and it's correct, no distortion has occurred. So I hope that helps everybody, and let me know if you have any questions.